All right, so this is my video of a Gen 3 2013 Toyota Prius. Um, you see the check engine light there. Been working on the car a little bit, trying to figure out what's going on. I think what's going on is uh, my um, water pump isn't working. I drive down the highway, the overheating light will come on. Um, and it'll flash and then if I stop putting any load under the vehicle, it turns off and goes back. Check engine light came on. I had the code read over at one of the local auto stores and it showed some sort of uh, heat sensor, but in order to determine if it was the heat or the water pump, you'd have to essentially take it out and find out. So what I'm gonna do over the next um, day or so, because I only can work on the weekends, I've got an extra car I can use or work after work or on the weekends, you're, I'm gonna try to install this new pump. All right, everybody, a um, little bit different video today. Um, so my Prius started overheating and I've noticed that uh, my coolant reservoir is dropping and that there's a fair amount of coolant out. So it means it's overheating. I have, uh, I have a strong suspicion that it is the water pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down to the water pump, kind of show you what it looks like, and then you're going to kind of come along. It's going to probably take me a couple of days. I don't have the water pump in yet, but I want to check a couple things and I'm going to drain the fluids, change them, um, and kind of go from there. All right, so we're going to take off the air filter here. Um, I've kind of done a little bit of troubleshooting earlier. Um, and had to loosen everything up, so I only hand tightened everything back in place. So that's why it's going to look like it takes a lot less effort. Undo this clip here, air sensor. I'll hold this while I do it. I left my tripods over at the property where the parking lot is. So, making makeshift using a jack stand to kind of hold it in place. So, <clears throat> Like I said, I'd already taken some of this stuff out. So the water pump is this right here. And then there's a sensor that's attached to it. And then there's also a temperature sensor a little bit lower. I also bought that. I do have that, but to replace it, it's gonna take the same amount of effort to just take the whole water pump off. So that's kind of why I decided I'm just gonna replace it. Even if it isn't bad, I bought a new one. So the next step is I need to jack up the Prius enough to where I can get underneath and then drain out the drain out the fluid. All right, next step, jacking the car up, putting the jack stand underneath. Perfect. So that's probably all the further I'm going to get tonight just because it's going to get dark, but I wanted to be able to get my 
drain pan underneath and that gives me just enough room whereas I couldn't fit it underneath before and I think to get access to some of these bolts that are on here I'm probably gonna have to take off the passenger tire and remove like the dirt guard and I should be able to get pretty good access from there yeah, and then just wait for the part I ordered um, should be in tomorrow we'll kind of see how this whole process goes I guess any comments suggestions I'm certainly interested so here's the funny thing took all that time to take that stuff off ended up not needing to um, you can reach up and open it up so I'm gonna let it drain for a while so that way I'm not fighting with it so I took the cap off to let air in on the top so it's running through the system and yeah we'll kind of check back tomorrow okay day two 2013 uh, Toyota Prius um, so water pump is what we're trying to replace today so last night I was able to get drain all the fluids out um, and then today I took off the tire prior to or the wheel before I started the video so here is the last bolt for the of the four that need to go for the water pump right there so I'm gonna do most of the work from up top here and then loosen up as many of the bolts as I can and we'll see where we are at All right, so found one more I missed a second ago. So, let's see if we can wiggle it out of there. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's probably what the issue is. It doesn't move very well. So, the only way to find out is if I install the new one, see if the electric pump isn't running. Okay, real quick comparison. This is the old one. This is the new one. When I try to spin it, it just has a lot of resistance, whereas this one just spins very freely. So I have a sneaking suspicion the motor went out on this, and that's why I keep getting the overheating code. Okay, so I was able to get the old one off. I'm going to put the new one in, um, and then we're going to refill it full of fluid. Let's, let's, see, how, let's see if we fixed or found the fix to my problem.
Okay, I was able to get all those on. Pretty boring video to watch me tighten those up because all you're gonna see is my arms in the way. So we got all five of those bolts back on. I'm gonna put the air, um, air intake back in so that I don't mess with that sensor. And then uh, I'm gonna fill it and let it run and try to drain out any of the bubbles. install this thing. I'm um, just going to get it to where I can put the filter back in its place and then putting, putting a lid on it so that it doesn't just pull dirty air out so that way we at least filter it a little bit. I'll come back here in a few minutes and if everything goes as I anticipate that it will, and we'll just install everything 100%. Right now is just uh, so we can test it. All right, so that's hooked up. All right, now for adding fluids. I already tightened the, the drain plug at the bottom, um, so that way you don't have to laugh at me as I watch it pour out the bottom. So I've been running for a little while, fluids are still perfectly at the right level. Put everything back together including put the sheathing underneath the car and put the wheel back on. So again, this is my 2013 Toyota Prius, it's got 183,000 miles on it. Started having a little bit of a flashing hot, uh, engine running hot and uh, so through my diagnostic, again, novice, never done this before. It appeared to be the water pump 
if for whatever reason this doesn't solve the problem, you'll probably see another video. Thanks again. Talk to you later.